it's a hovering iPad. Now, in all seriousness, uh, it's a, uh, one of these horrible, cheap uh, picture frame thingies, uh, probably straight out of China, although it seems to be a somewhat more higher end model than, the, than what you'd get off of eBay. Uh, it's a model number Sun SG8110A, uh, and it's of course coming out of a trash. It was a long time since I grabbed this. I don't remember the issue exactly, but I think the backlight's dead on it and uh, it is a relatively fresh for being out of a trash show uh, i wouldn't imagine this thing having lived a very long life if if it wasn't just a doa uh, but i figured it would plug it in AC adapter even has the original wire up on it more stuff telling a tale of a short life uh, it seems to power up drawing a watt in standby so let's get some juice into this. The AC adapter is a KTEC 12 volt 2.5 amp model. The, the device is rated for exactly that. And where the hell is the DC input? Oh, there we go. That's one of these silly, super tiny plugs. Yes, making noise. drawing seven watts and we have a very faint picture there media detected it says no media detected uh, that is most unlikely to show up on camera so i would wager that we have an issue with a backlight driver uh, either the display is bust or uh, the inverter is bust this thing is I actually have no idea how old it might be, but I would imagine it being quite a few years. It's been lying around my workshop for, since forever. Oh, hang on. It actually says made in Taiwan there, so it's not Chinese. But yeah, let's just crack this thing open and uh, have a look inside. And we do have a sticker here saying 1208, so it might be a 2012 or a 2008 model. All right, let's see which part pops loose from which. Plastic frame pops loose from the device. Oh, this is actually looking surprisingly professional on the inside. Uh, I can see we have a, uh, a CTFL backlight. And we've got tube wires coming in there. Uh, surprisingly fresh. Surprisingly fresh. These things tend to look like shit on the inside, but hey, this is actually made in Taiwan. It's not a, a Chinese eBay special. Perhaps it's even got a shot at being of some kind of quality. Oh, who am I kidding? It's probably been dead out of a box, so nope. And there comes the display. Ooh, that looks dodgy. What the <laughs> they seem to have extended the uh, backlight tubes. Oh wow, that's actually a sharp panel. Sharp make uh, usually rather expensive industrial panels. Yeah, this thing actually looks far more high quality than I'd imagine. And let's have a closer look at what we can see from here. The size of very species that is impressive for a device of this nature and that inverter looks very very high end and is that just a giant cap going on that looks so much better than i did expect and the mainboard as well lots of smd stuff not one of these horrible holy ancient cheap chinese things proper glass fiber board this thing must have been relatively expensive for what it is. Those speakers, they do look impressive. Right here, let's uh, have a probe around. I think we should start by measuring that fuse right there. Uh, it seems to be all right. Fuse is all right. And do we get power? This board is not mounted very sturdily at all. Do we get power? 
it seems we do not get power to the actual inverter because those are the input caps and yeah that's half a volt so the issue is unlikely to be on the actual inverter unless it's shorted but rather whatever's hang on is that connector is that connector even in let's see if we can't fix this thing right away I'm just gonna do that and I think we're gonna have backlight now all right place your bets everything's hooked up back together I think this is gonna be working just fine and if it does then I'm quite sure yep uh, this has been a DOA <laughs> faulty connector ended up in the trash uh, Oh well, let's not stop there, let's just, uh, Jesus, is drawing 15 bloody watts just sitting around doing that. That's like an entire PC. But yeah, let's just get the main board out and have a look at it, since we're digging around in this thing anyway. I'm a bit curious to see what kind of processor this thing is porting. There we go. Oh, wow. Or if I redact my statement about this thing being modern, let's have a close look at that. That is a properly old school looking board. Uh, horrible electrolytics, 220, 16 volts. Tiny packages, but oh, like, ah, what's that, a QFP socket? I don't remember a specific name for this. And giant, what's that, an ESS? DMP2 ES6425FF. Hey, there we go. K417. That looks to be the major brains of the operation. And we have an SD card slot and a <laughs> body compact flash. And this thing is not revealing anything particularly interesting. But wow, this thing looks so. This thing looks like something from 2000. Two rather than 2012, and geez, come on! Oh well, enough playing around. Let's see if we can make it play something. All right, I've loaded up this one gigabyte SD card with a bunch of my YouTube thumbnails as well as an old movie in XVID format, which uh, this thing should be able to decode according to the manual. So let's give it a go. Of course, there's no touch screen, but rather we have these lovely buttons on the back side. Uh, let's start with a movie. Uh, right, left. Video. Okay, we <laughs> the movie playback feature does not work very well. <laughs> uh, that's going to get cut out in compression, but that was very, very, very loud. Those speakers, they do perform. And anyway, let's just get the, get the pictures rolling. Photo. It's reading the card. Those are 1280 by 720 JPEGs. They're like a couple hundred kilobytes each. Well, I guess that's working. I don't think that's worth 15 watts of power though. That is, as it very well is drawing while doing that. 15 watts. When it was trying to bust my ears with the horrible noise, it was drawing uh, uh, 21 watts. So all that was getting to the speakers. The image quality is uh, surprisingly good though. Uh, way better than I would have imagined for 
There's such an old device with, which has like a box standard industrial LCD. This is not going to be an LCD optimized for a picture quality, but to rather reliability. It doesn't look too bad at all. Let's uh, dim the light and see how the contrast like. Yeah, that's not as impressive. And the viewing angles are just shit, really. I hate this work. Another entirely pointless device to the collection. Uh, thank you for watching. Cheerio.